How to create a navigation menu in Excel that is totally dynamic. Whenever you click in any button, you can navigate through the spreadsheet, no matter how many spreadsheets that you have. So one, two, three, four, five, so on, so on, so on. You can have a lot of different spreadsheets and create a navigation menu for all the spreadsheets that you have. Step by step, we're gonna learn how can we do it. And the cool interesting thing is, the colors is also gonna change dynamically whenever you click in any button and activate any spreadsheet that you have, you're gonna see that the colors is gonna follow automatically whenever you click over any one of the buttons that you have here. So let's find out how can we do it step by step from scratch, let's go. To create this navigation menu in Excel, you don't need to have the same spreadsheet that I'm using here, you can use your own spreadsheet or actually you can take a new Excel file and follow this step by step that I'm gonna show you here and it's gonna work. So the purpose of this video is to show you how can we do a navigation menu in Excel. And that way you can use even a blank, a new spreadsheet that it's gonna work, okay? The thing that I, maybe it's important to have here in Excel is a couple of different sheets. So for example, she one, she two, she three, and so on, so on. You can have four, five, 10 different sheets here and create a navigation menu for each one of the different sheets that you have. Uh, to create a new sheet, you just need to click here in this plus sign right here, new sheet, and that's it. If you want to read it off a uh, spreadsheet, you can right click just over the, the tab that we have here and then delete, that's it. But I'm going to stick here with three different sheets and it's important to already give the name that you're going to use into your sheet because you need to give the name now because later on in the video it's maybe a little bit complicated to change the name because if you change the name right click rename of the spreadsheet that, I, that you are using if you uh, just do it later in the video maybe it's gonna be a little bit complicated because you're gonna need to change all the buttons into the navigation menu to the new to the new name of the spreadsheet okay so if you want to change the name do it now okay um, it's a it's an important step Okay, so where, the first question, where do you want to build the navigation menu? To the top, right here, of the spreadsheet, or to the left, right here, into the spreadsheet. I'm gonna create in this video right here, to the left of the spreadsheet, but if you want to, to see a new tutorial, just showing how can we build a navigation menu to the top of the spreadsheet, comment down below and I'm gonna bring new videos, okay? Let me click that way in the column A, and I'm gonna need to add here new columns to the left, new blank columns, because with these new columns is where we're gonna build the navigation menu. And as you guys can see here, my first column have some formations that is not allow me to change, okay? I can change the, the column A to another thing, because I can't replace the data that I have here. That way, I'm gonna take all this uh, green table that I have and move to the right. That way, I'm gonna have the free column A for, to create this navigation menu. So this is what you're gonna do here. Let me click here in the column A just over the letter to select the entire, the whole column A, and then right click, and then I can uh, choose the option insert. I can do it one more time. Again, insert, okay. Now I have here two blank columns, two new columns. I'm gonna use the column A to create the navigation menu. And I can start here with changing the background color, for example. Uh, instead of using a white color, you can actually use the color you want to use. But here I'm gonna show you uh, how how I'm gonna do, okay? You can create your own, of course, using your own colors. But here I'm gonna use a black, uh, a black background. Let me click here in the Home tab, and then I can click here in the, the Fill Color, and I can choose a color too as the background. I'm gonna stick with this option right here. Black, text one, lighter 25%. Click here, okay. Another thing that we can do here is um, maybe make the column A a little a little bigger or stretch out to the right. That way the column A is gonna be bigger. And to do it, the only thing that we need to do is click here in between the column A and the column B, click, hold, and drag to the right. Simple as that. Click, hold, and drag to the right. Maybe I'm gonna use here uh, this size right here, but it depends on the, the size of your monitor of your computer, okay? If you have a, a big, a large screen, maybe you can use here more width to the column A. I'm gonna stick with, with that size right here. I think it's good for me, uh, and that's it. So as you guys can see, all the rows 
of the column A now are with this black background, and we can start here make some changes. Let's start with the title of this navigation menu, such as, for example, I can just make the title, a simple title, just click here, insert, and then I can go here to the right, text, text box, and I can place here, click, hold, and drag to make the area of this text box, okay, like this, and I can type it in here, maybe navigation, navigation menu, okay. Let me select here everything within this box, and then I can go to the home tab, I can ally everyone in the middle and also center uh, in a horizontal way. I can also put the text in bold. I can maybe increase the font size to 12 and change the font size to this white color right here. And now one step that I can do here is click in this box, just here in the, in the corner of the box to select not what is inside the box, but uh, the box itself. And I can go here, here, shape format, shape outline, I'm gonna read it off, the outline, click here, no outline, shape fill, no fill, and we're gonna have a result like this. Now we can create here the buttons, and whenever you click in any button, we can navigate and uh, to all the sheets that we have here. So let's start clicking here, insert, illustrations, shapes, and I'm gonna choose here a shape to use as the button that I, that I need. I can use maybe a rectangle, a standard one, or I can also use this rectangle right here with rounded corners. Maybe I think, yeah, maybe it's here, okay? Rectangle, rounded corners, or the standard one. I'm gonna choose the standard one. Why? Because I want to, to use this one, okay? You can use what you want to use here. You can choose your own option. Now let me click hold and make the rectangle maybe this size right here. And maybe you can find some difficult to change the position of the rectangle. So my advice to you is click in the, the form, in the shape, and use the keyboard keys to the left, maybe a little bit up, and so on, so on. That way it's easier to change the position and to move the rectangle with preciseness throughout the spreadsheet, okay? Now we have our first button. It's not actually yet a button because if you, we click here, Nothing's gonna happen, but we're gonna make some changes later. I want to start here, uh, just click in, the, in this shape right here, right click, and then I can go to Format Shape. Here to the right, you're gonna have a lot of options. The first one that we can start with, maybe is here, Line, and I'm gonna choose No Line, because that way we can read it off the outlines, okay, the border, the corners, so there's no corners, uh, outlines anymore. Now I can go here, fill, gradient fill, and I can choose a Q color here, an interesting one. And as you guys can see here to the to the left, the button that we are creating here is already with some effects. It's already looking some different, and but uh, we can improve it a little a little more. So present gradients, I'm gonna I'm not change anything here. I'm gonna go here, maybe gradient stops. I'm gonna read it off, and I'm gonna just stick with three. One, I'm gonna just go all the way to the left. The one in the right is gonna be all the way to the right. And this one here in the middle is gonna be maybe close to the right. Maybe you can use 90%, I think it's good. Now that one here to the left, I can use a yellow color here. So in the color, I can click and I can choose maybe this color right here. Gold accent for that one all the way to the right, I'm gonna choose the same exactly color as this one right here. And this one here in the middle, look I'm gonna what I'm gonna do here. I'm gonna choose the same color, but the transparency is what's gonna make the difference because I'm gonna go with the transparency all the way to 100 percent And let's see what we're gonna have here. Okay, maybe a weird format here, but instead of using the gradient, the yellow part at the top, and then transparency, and then yellow again at the bottom, we're gonna rotate it to the left. So you're gonna have yellow to the left, transparency, and then yellow again to the to the end in the right, in the, in the right corner. So here, type, I'm gonna use linear, and direction, I'm gonna choose this option right here, linear right, okay? So the angle is gonna be equal to zero, as you guys can see right here. 
maybe we can make some changes in the gradient and in the color positions in the in the gradient stops that we have because that way we can make some changes in where each one of the, the colors is going to be placed at here in the in the shape okay so maybe i think it's a good idea to take this one right here and bring it to the right a little bit more so let me come back here instead of using 90 in the position we're going to use 95 as position and i think it's a little bit better let's scan we can make it better yet 97 maybe okay i can close here or actually let me click here uh effects shadow i'm going to choose the first option Transparency, I'm gonna choose 30%, blur 2, and distance also 2. I can close it now, and this is our first button. It's looking cool, huh? So now to, to type it in here within this button, I'm gonna type it in the name of the spreadsheets that I have. But uh, instead of using these names that I have here, for example, she1, she2, she3, I'm gonna type the actual name of the spreadsheet because I don't need to basically use the same name that I have here because I will not use these tabs here down below anymore. I'm going to navigate through the spreadsheet using the buttons that I'm creating here. So it doesn't matter the name that I just let here, the spreadsheets. So I know that my first spreadsheet, this one right here, is where I have my data set. So I can click here, click again. Oh, oops, yeah, that way. Now I can type it in here, data set. I can select here everything within like this. Now I can go to the Home tab, increase the font maybe to 14, put it in bold, centralize here or align in a horizontal way or in a vertical way, of course, like this. And instead of using the middle or to the right, we're going to stick with to the left, the position of the text. Maybe I can make it a little bit bigger, such as 16 as the font size. I think it's good. Uh, maybe, okay, I think it's good. I'm going to let it away. So data set, and then I'm going to need to create here two more buttons. That is for the she2 and the she3. But now it's easier. The most difficult one is the first one. Now we just need to copy and paste. So it's pretty much easy to do. Or I'm going to show you another technique. How can you copy and paste a form in Excel, a shape in Excel? Control and shift, two buttons together, OK? Control, shift, click in the button, click, hold, and drag down like this. One more time, Control and shift. Hold and drag it down. Click, hold and drag it down. Okay, so press and hold the control key with the shift key. These two buttons together. Control, shift, click, hold, and drag down the button. That way. Uh, I think it's good. If you need to adjust, make some adjustments in the position, you can click in the button and use the arrow keys in the, the keyboard. Okay, now it's good. The second one here is going to be maybe a uh, chart or analysis. Analysis. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna stick with uh, analysis. I think it's with Y. Okay, analysis. And then the last one is gonna be let's say new sheet or blank spreadsheet or something like this. Now one important step here is I want to make the colors change dynamically depend on the spreadsheet that I am current at. So for example. What the spreadsheet that I'm current at right now? Data set, analysis, or new sheet? Data set, okay? So data set. I'm currently in the data set. So I want to make this button right here to stand out, uh, to highlight on, in comparison to the another ones. And to do it, instead of using the same yellow color for all the, the orders button that we are using here, maybe you can make some change. So for example, you can use maybe some uh, grayish color, gray, gray color, okay? Let me right click here in this button and then for my shape here to the left, I can, for example, instead of using yellow, I'm going to use some gray color such as, such as this, just this first black option right here. And then this one to the, to the right, the same color. And this one here in the middle is going to be exactly the same color, but with 100% of transparency. And we're going to have this. This is style right here. Now I can close this one. Uh, I don't need to do it all over again to the sturdy button that I have here. I just need to click in this button that I have here in the middle, in between the two. And then I can click in the Home tab. I'm going to double click here in the Format Painter, one, two. 
and then click in the new sheet right here. That's it. Simple as that. Now we are almost done. Uh, two things that are missing here now that we need to do. First, one, number one, is to create, to link each one of the spreadsheet that you have to a button. So whenever I click in each one of the button, I can navigate through the spreadsheets that I have. Okay, so this is the first thing. The second one now, the last, the last two things that are missing here, the second one is to, to copy and paste the same navigation menu to all the spreadsheets that we have. Uh, let's do it. So I'm going to right click here. I'm going to start with the first button, okay? Right click in the button. I'm going to stick with link, okay? I'm going to click here, link. And a new uh, window is going to appear here for me. It's going to pop up. And I'm going to choose cell reference, the first one, okay? I'm going to do the same thing for the second button that I have here. Right click, link, sheet number two, okay? And the third one, right click, link, sheet number three, okay? And it's important. I'm, I'm linking the buttons with the respective sheets. You need to, to see what you're going to do in your scenario, in, in your own uh, situation, okay? Because it can be different than uh, what I'm doing here. So maybe be mindful about it, okay? You need to link, you need to reference the exactly spreadsheet uh, that you, you need to, when you click in the button, you want to be moved to, okay? So now we're done. If I click in any button now, for example, analysis, looks going to happen. I can change, I can navigate through the spreadsheet just by clicking in the button, in the navigation menu that we just created. Now it's time to make this navigation menu available for all the spreadsheets. And again, let me right click here in the first column, insert one more time, insert, okay? And I'm gonna do it for, okay, here I don't need to do it because all the rows here, all the, the columns here are basically in blank. Now I'm going to select here the column A and B, for example, and right click, copy, sheet number two, right click here, in the first option, paste. Okay, I'm going to do the same thing here for the sheet number three, right click, paste. Okay, that's it. Now, something that you can see here, I don't know if you already realize it, is if I navigate through the spreadsheet using this navigation menu, as you guys can see, and uh, the colors are not changed dynamically. So I just said before that we have two more steps to do. And we did these two last steps, but maybe we have one more to change the colors dynamically. Let's do it. So it's, it's easier to do. So I'm gonna stick with uh, in the sheet number two. Now, as I'm, I'm here in the second spreadsheet, I'm gonna, for example, choose the first button, but I'm gonna press and hold the control key, choose, click over the first button to select this button, and then I'm gonna go to the home tab, double click in the format painter, one, two, okay? Now, I'm gonna press and hold again the control key and select the analysis button here, or the second button, okay? Now I'm gonna press ESC to unselect the, the two buttons, and again, I'm gonna now press the control key again, select the, the last button right here, and I'm gonna cope this format, this painting, double click here in the format painter, one, two, to the first button. Control, select the first button. That's it. So this is how we can change the button colors and make it dynamic, as you guys can see here now, through these clicks that I'm doing here. Now to do the same thing for the last expression that I have here, I'm gonna do this all over again. So select the first button with the control key, double clicking the, the painter, hold the control key, select the last button, ask, select the middle, home tab, double click here, in the format painter, one, two, and select the first button using the control key. That's it, we're done. So this is how can we create this navigation menu in Excel. And for sure, this is gonna help you make beautiful dashboards, make some better visual effects to your spreadsheet, and of course, help you into your presentations and so on, so on. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you have any questions or any suggestions, let me know, comment down below, and I'll see you tomorrow. As every day has a new video, I see you there.